So far we have used the int or integer data type, which is a numeric data type all through this course. Another data type that falls under numeric data type that we are yet to use is decimal. The decimal data type is suitable for storing current data or data that includes decimals. And the syntax is we have the column name, then the keyword decimal, and it takes on two arguments, one each, which is P, the precision, and precision is the maximum total number of decimal digits that will be stored both to the left and to the right of the decimal point. And S, which is the scale, is the number of decimal digits that will be stored to the right of the decimal point. To further illustrate this, let's create a new table. Let's create a, a new table that contains information about shoes. So we want to gather some information about the different types of shoes that we have in our store. We would like to have the price of the shoe. We would like to know the, the type of the shoes, the size of the shoes. So we'll call the table name shoes. So we just create table shoes. And the information we want to gather, we'll start with a, a shoe ID. We want to be able to identify or have a tag for all of our shoes. We would like to have the, let's say the, the shoe, so the shoe size. We'll like to have the, the price of the shoe, shoe price. And we want to see what type of the, what type of shoe is it? Is it a sneakers? Is it a boot? shoe type and finally the the call of the shoe okay so let's start to add our data types so for the shoe ID will be an integer and we want the number to be the values to be automatically generated so we'll have an identity and we'll start the start from one so the first shoe ID will be one and we just want an increment of one and we'll make the issue ID the primary key as well. Primary key. So that's um, that's the data type for the shoe ID. Now the shoe size. Now if we are to use the uh, let's say we're using the the American um, measure shoe measuring guide, and typically you could have a, a, a size five, size seven, size nine, size nine point five, size. Uh, 10.5, 8.5, and and this is where we now need to use the decimal data type. And what I should do, what I'll do first is just write the syntax again. So the syntax would be first we we have the column name, column name, and then we have the keyword decimal, and now we have the argument p for precision, and we have s which is the scale. And that's the syntax. I'm just going to comment this out. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we have the column name, which is the shoe size. That's the name of the column. And now we just write decimal, the keyword. And this is where it some, somewhat gets um, tricky. But again, we have two arguments. The P is the precision, which is the, the precision is the total number of digits that we want within within that column. So in our case, uh, the, you know, the, the maximum shoe guide would be around, even if it's 20, but it, it's usually three digits. So, um, well, that's the maximum. It could be, you know, it could start from like 5.1, 5.2, to you know, double digit 10.5, 10. 10. Point, you know, 11.5, uh, something like that. So the total number of digits is three, and that, and which is the precision. Now the scale is how many decimal points do we want within that three digits? So for this example, again, we would have one decimal, po one decimal point because the the shoe size would be could be 10.5, 9.5. So after the 10, we have one more, we have one decimal place, so which is one. So all we need to then do is just write one. 
and that will be it. So we the total the precision, the total number of digits is three, but within that three digits, we need one decimal place. So that's what that means. Now to try that again, the, the shoe price, let's say the, the maximum amount um, that our, our shoe could cost would be in the hundreds. And so, and, and we want digits as well. And I'm, I'm sure you've gone to buy items and it could be, uh, let's say it's, uh, you know, 90.99 or 120.99. So if we're to, assuming that the maximum value we're saying that within our shoe price is within the hundreds, so we could have a shoe that cost, for instance, 200.99, 200 .99 cents. So the total number of digits will be five. So we'll write five. And what's the, which is the precision, and what's the scale? So the scale will be in the 10. So it could be 99, could be 09. So, uh, so that's two digits. So all we just need to do then is we just write two. Okay, and that's really how we, Let's so have decimal, and that's how we we write the the decimal the, um, the decimal keywords. Okay, and now we'll go to the shoe type, which would be a varkar, and we'll make this varkar 50. We're familiar with this already, and we'll make the shoe color varkar as well, and that will be varkar 50. And we can go ahead and close our parentheses. So now if we run this, the that shoe will be the shoe table or shoe table will be created. For the values, just go ahead and copy the insert records we have here. I'm just going to paste that. Now we can insert the records. Okay. Let's print out our shoe table. So what we have here is we have our shoe ID, which was automatically generated. We have the different shoe size. So we have 10.5, 10, 8.5, and, and all of that. We have the shoe price, and we see that it has different prices, and you know, to two decimal points. So uh, again, just to emphasize the, the decimal, how it works, uh, within the shoe size, it's one decimal point. Within the shoe price, it's two decimal point, because we could have like, 34.99, um, you know, depending on whatever promotion we want to have within our store to the cents. So we have that, and then we have the shoe type as well as the shoe color. And to further emphasize the importance of the, the data type, if we had created this shoe table, and instead of having decimal, we add this as integer, and we could try that, just copy this schema and we'll paste it and we'll call this shoes too and now let's change this decimal to just integer which means we'll just delete all of that and we'll change this to integer as well okay and let's create this shoes to table now let's just take a look at the blank table let's select all from shoes to so we have our we have our columns now let's try and insert the same records we inserted into the shoes table so just copy that just kind of paste and don't forget to change this to shoes to and let's run this query and see what happens well, we see that nine rows are affected, which means something did happen. Now let's go ahead and print out that tables from shoes to execute. So what we see now is that our shoe size, because the schema was is an integer, it basically just cuts out the decimals. And there is a difference between a size shoe 10 and a size shoe 10.5. And, and just to make it clear, I'm just going to select all from shoes. 
So we have both of our tables. Execute. I'm going to bring this up. So what we see now is that in the shoes table, the, the and this is the the first one, the which we have the decimal. Our decimals are intact because the schema, you know, for the shoe shoe size as well as the shoe price is a decimal. We we chose decimals, right? But now, when we used int, it basically cuts off the decimal point. And, and like I said, there's a difference between a, a shoe size 8 and a shoe size 8.5. And in terms of the pricing as well, it cuts off the, the decimal, you know, any all the values that are decimals, it just cuts that off.